Um, today we are going to present the uh, uh, iSmart 500 from Lunch Company, the Valo 500, the AC machine. Uh, basically it comes with the cover to protect the device uh, and we are the agent here in the United Arab Emirates to supply this machine. Uh, this is an AC recovery machine, fully automatic. So, you know, it, it, does, it does all the options. Mean to say, it will recover the uh, old uh, I mean the uh, gases inside the uh, refrigeration cycle and also it will evacuate the system to absorb all the uh, dust and all the humidity inside the cycle plus also it will inject the oil there is an oil uh, uh, yeah filling this is the used oil in, in the fact it will absorb the oil all everything in the cycle so the old oil goes here Okay. If you want to change it because it, by the time it has been maybe used or something and in here you have to fill the new oil. Okay. Uh, again, you have to read the manual for each and every car and see what does this car uh, requirements, how much gas, because the advantages of this machine, it works by weight. It works by weight. So uh, every car has got how much weight you want to fill the car with and how much oil you want to fill it with. Uh, the machine also inject the oil inject the oil inside the cycle plus uh, after that it will also inject the new gas which is from the now this is the new cylinder actually it comes with the cylinder built-in cylinder inside the machine in here if you see this is the uh, cylinder built-in uh, cylinder you must remove all of this so let's remove all of this uh, filling protection because it, this is best so basically you need to remove all this filling down from the scaling machine and some of the refrigerant recovery machine will have a screw just to fix this one during the transportation from the factory up to here. So now the scale is free so you know the device will read the value of the weight and it will also use it to fill the car. So basically the advantages of this one is using the weight technology, okay, weighting the refrigerant gas to fill it in the car, okay? Uh, the component, actually there is a filter, you must change it every uh, time, when you, whenever you feel that, you know, uh, okay. after certain time, you have, to you have to change this filter, okay? We give one a filter free. Uh, here is the main uh, gauges. So this is the high pressure, this is the low pressure, and this is the TV. Here where you connect your uh, uh, recovery machine, with the high pressure uh, line so this is let me okay meanwhile let him uh, put it draw the the cables this is the hoses and the cables actually all color coded so if you say the, the red color is the uh, high pressure okay and the the, the blue no. is uh, is the low pressure let me show you let him connect the couplers but meanwhile we will show you the main passes and the main function of this machine this is the fragrant recovery and reuse i mean it will withdraw the old gases when you don't have this machine you just withdraw it maybe in the air that is not allowed because you know it will spoil the uh, ambient it's, it's again it's regulation because the fragrant gas is really uh, uh, not uh, uh, safe uh, gas so even when you I, I say when you use this machine you must wear gloves why? Because the gas is very, very cool, so it might come suddenly to your uh, skin and make it, uh, uh, you know, uh, crunching, and maybe it will go for one month. You have some skin problem. So, so recovery of the used uh, 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 gases, and then uh, also it will do the air conditioning internal cleaning because it will do the evacuation. So the evacuation of the cycle. When you evacuate the cycle, it will go to minus 30. Let me show you here into the gauge. You know, it will go up to minus 30. If you withdraw from the low pressure, if you withdraw with the high pressure, also is the same. So at minus 30 BSI, all the humidity will be absorbed from the cycle, okay? And it will clean the cycle. Uh, automatic precise filling, because I told you it will rely on their weight. So each and every car, uh, it will have a certain uh, kg, like for example, some of the cars 0.5 kilogram, some of the cars 0.6 gram, some of the cars 0.7 gram, kilogram, sorry. So when you fill it with the right amount, 
you guarantee the, the, the better efficiency for your uh, cooling uh, functionality. And you know, it has a printer uh, with it. So this, this is here is the printer. It will print for you the report. The good things about this machine, it has also a database where you keep the car uh, uh, list. So each and every car will have a certain number of uh, uh, kilogram you have to fill it with. Uh, let us connect the power supply. Here is the power supply. This is a very, very nice uh, uh, couplers because after you use this machine, you must clean the machine from inside. You should not use this machine with X car, again use it with Y car without cleaning the internal hoses because the old one must have, can have maybe trashes, can have different gas type. By the way, this machine works with two guys, 134A or 1234YF. If you select to work with 1234A uh, gases, you must not switch immediately to there unless you clean all the cycle and change all the, uh, uh, you know, the refrigerant uh, button. Uh, here, this uh, uh, vessel, it will show you the gas when it passes through the machine. Uh, the machine, okay, meanwhile, please remove this uh, screw just to make the scale because this machine has got the fill-in, as we said, and also this screw. Can you make a photo for this screw? This screw has to be removed, has to be removed, okay, just to make this scale very free so it will do its work. Come here, please. This, this scaling machine can weight up to 30 kil, uh, kilogram. So, you know, th this is, uh, the, 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 this one, the type is value. Actually, it's very, very nice type and brand, well-known brand. Uh, till the guys remove the screw from the scaling uh, machine. Okay, let me show you the very important uh, thing. Okay, let them remove it, please. Come here. Let me show you the, uh, uh, cooling uh, cycle and chart. Uh, this is the high pressure. It's a, a very big uh, coupler, but the pipe is very small because it's high pressure. Here, this is the low pressure. They are written here low. You check it low. It will come a smaller in uh, size adapter, but the pipe is big. Let me show you here. You cannot miss. You cannot miss up with this one because you know the big coupler. The big coupler is, will go to the high. Okay, and to the small by the blue coupler, it will go to the low pressure, which is big by and small in size. If you compare them, you see this is a small, this is big. So you have to follow the color coding and the uh, marks by the manufacturer. Let me show you what does this mean. Meanwhile, they will remove the uh, the uh, uh, screw from the scaling machine. Oh, one, two. El and who are, he removed the screw from the scaling, so it becomes free. So we guarantee that this one is working fine. Uh, let me show you something before we start this work. Just to make, just to make it easy and just to remind things and to put things on the table. This is the uh, cooling cycle. Here is the compressor. Here is the low pressure. Please always be sure that this is must be uh, gas. You cannot put liquid in the compressor, you will spoil the compressor. So this is a gas, low pressure, which is this line. But this is here. The, the, the low pressure is here, you know, here. This is the low pressure. So the low pressure goes, the compressor will, will pressurize the gas. The gas will go as a high pressure out from the compressor because the clutch, when the clutch is engaged, there is a pressure sensor here actually, it's not shown. If the pressure is very low, the compressor won't work. There should be a pressure in here, so the, the compressor will work and the pressurize the gas. The gas becomes very high pressure and it has to be go to the condenser, which is in, in the radiator side. Okay, and the cooling fan. So the cooling fan will push the air and make this gas a little bit cool. The pressure will reduce and it will go here as a liquid, as a liquid. So the liquid has to be high pressure. Okay, the high pressure uh, liquid, it will go through the drainer and from the drainer, to the expansion valve this is will catch any uh, humidity or any liquid in this dryer yeah dryer yes receiver dryer. receiver dryer yes and you know after this uh, this is the hb this is where you connect your hb so we are here this is in here before the expansion valve so the expansion valve basically goes to the inside inside this is the expansion valve okay 
and going to the evaporator inside the unit so it will cool the, the unit so let me show you this device I, I want you I want you to use this machine as a diagnosis device before you just using it as a fill I don't want you to use it as an ordinary mechanical just with the draw all the gases put in your gases very nice thank you no don't do this always when you hook up your uh, lines okay you have to let us hook up the lines please come I'm catching this lever okay when you hook up these lines at the state of the car is off if you off the car that mean you know now the car is in off position so the expansion valve will keep releasing the pressure from the high from the high pressure to the low, low pressure so the pressure should be equal the pressure should be equal uh, when you want to hook it up please release this one okay because you know you want, the inflation valve must open and release the pressure all the way from there this is open and here close can you put it please the coupler you have to push it up and then put it and then open the loop you know just exactly like this just exactly like this okay he open it the pressure goes to the machine so if we see here see the pressure of the low low pressure has gone up to how this is the bsi okay it has gone to around uh, 75 uh, bsi and the high pressure if you see the high pressure in here after we hooked up the high pressure this is the first time to use this machine we found that you know the gauge uh, line has to be a little bit tight tight you know we tight it so always you have to check your system should be no leak inside the machine or you know this coupler from all the sides you must check all of this so now again he hooked up the high line and we have zero leakage in here okay because maybe the factory forget to tight one of the high pressure line which is coming to the gauge to measure the high pressure now he put the also low pressure again after we hook it up okay let's yeah let's hook it up please and then you know yeah and then we have to open don't open first okay yeah after he put it let's open this this one this line and this line now we go here and see i will go closer so now basically we have got here around 70 bsi if you see this is the bsi and here we got around also 70 bsi so this situation is really relaxed and normal because you know the car is off and you know the pressure is equalized let me show you here in the photo the pressure is equalized between the low pressure and high pressure because the compressor is off the clutch is off the car is off the line the 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 gas passes through the expansion valve all the way until this is equal. This is normal. All the high pressure must always go to the low. So this is the system is charged. If you got a car with zero pressure in here and zero pressure in here, you know that this car does not have a gas at all. So you need to fill the gas in this machine. If you got, please remember this. If you got this is very high, and this is very high, that means that the the, the you know you have to look to the car manual. You have to look to the car manual and the table they have the repair manual so if it is very high pressure that means the, the gas is is over overfilled or you have bubbles or you have something with the gas making it more pressurized that is very important to check so use this one as a diagnosis now let's on the car now we will ask the gentleman to make the car on so we will check that this pressure has become high i am expecting around 170 and here 30 35 psi uh, the weather is not very hot today Ma make the AC super cool and the fan is high we should make the, uh, the fan high and the AC is cooling now we see here the high pressure is going up we have to wait for some time till it's stabilized I can see everything is normal now I can see here around 140 130 and here around 24 uh, BSI so this is a normal situation. I made a table for you to make it easy to diagnose this one, okay? If I find the low side is low, the high side, can you catch this one, please? Just catch it in here, yeah. Low side is low and low, low refrigerant. So you don't have a refrigerant inside this one. If you have high and high, that means here you have high and here high, you know, that means there is overcharged refrigerant. If you have high and high but some cool, you have air in the system or overcharge. Normal and normal like what we say, this is, you know, 
uh, uh, and not warm, that does not cool, you know, then you have, you, you find some maybe inside the evaporator here, maybe the fan is not working, or you have, uh, you know, some blockage in your damper, inside your car there is a damper to open this one, or maybe the selector switch inside your car to open and control this damper is closed, because no air, cooling air is coming inside the cabinets. Let me go here to low and low. You have in the low side low and in the high side low. Okay, the expansion valve is stuck. So it is not releasing, you know, it is fully open. It's fully open. So no high pressure going here. It is not regulating the pressure. So you have both of them is at low side. Here, you know, low and low, high side restriction, high, low, you have the compressor on control valve filled. So if you have here, uh, uh, you know so if you have if you have here high and you have here low you have low pressure that means the compressor is not working and is not doing its job and is not pressurizing uh, the line okay so basically if you have high very high pressure here more than the normal and you know you have very low pressure here that means this regulation valve this is ex sorry, expansion valve is not open and that is why you know it is not passing the pressure in here so you have the system is pressurized in this type i always advise you to check the uh, this one the dryer maybe the dryer is closed if the dryer is closed okay you have it's very difficult for you to uh, release the uh, liquid from here and that is why you know the this high pressure side would be very very high and the low pressure side would be low why because you are not passing from here so please check always this one check your expansion valve and then you know i don't if you have here the pressure the high pressure is very high okay sometime maybe you think that your condenser is closed but you are measuring here high so if this is closed this is what should be low so please check if this is low and if, I hope there is a line here to check because if this is high, that means the compressor is working, the clutch is engaged, but you have here no high pressure. That means this condenser might be closed that time. Okay. Some people say I have a cooling w only when I move the car because this is has to cool the cool the uh, you know the uh, gases going over here to become it as a cooler. When it is a stop, there is no cooling. That means this fan might not work. You please check this fan and always clean your uh, uh, condenser. So this car is normal, everything is normal. We don't want to touch it. We want to work with another car, but let me show you that this, the machine, let me on the machine now, the main screen, can you own it please? Let me show you now the only owning the machine and show you how you move inside and how you do your first work because we want to fill, we have the, this one filled we want to fill the, the gases from here to the machine cylinder because the cylinder machine cylinder now is empty. There is no gas inside this machine. Uh, let me show you the main function of this device. Uh, here you have the flushing and recovery. This function will do, you know, um, uh, rec reclaiming of the gas. So it will re recover the gas. It will absorb the car gas from the car, okay, up to the up to the machine. Okay, and it will also flush it by the uh, filter. And it will separate the oil, the used oil will come in here. The used oil will come in here. So basically you will know that how much is used oil you have inside your car. Uh, please be careful. I want really to remind you about something that the compressor, sometime you change the compressor. The manufacturer of the compressor keep some oil inside. So you think there is no oil, you add some oil, you have more oil in your loop. That is, that is not correct. Please always you recover everything. Even you don't have gas, just recover and see how much used oil inside. Uh, Mr. Abu Yaman now is going to add some oil. Uh, please add full oil in here. The old, the old machine, you, they will ask you to you add only some oil, maybe it, uh, uh, point, uh, uh, point two liter or point one liter. Okay, inside this here, you know the measurement. Okay, the, in here. Okay. So you add, but this machine is very clever enough to absorb how much it needs, regardless of how much you are filling. So please fill whatever you want. Fill it high, it will not absorb air, it's better. Because this one, if it, because, see, this is smart enough. If there is no oil inside, it will, not, it will say to you, I cannot work. 
if there is no oil inside so this machine is and this machine also is clever for the direction if you uh, you know sometime you don't know from where you are feeling from where you are recovering this is will program itself and it will help you and it will release all this it will, it will absorb the, the, the gas from the uh, direction you know the right direction you know manually you can put a new oil in the car from here if you want to add a little oil but okay i don't recommend this one this function i think is there but i do not and here is the used oil you can release the oil used oil from here from the machine and fill it inside let me show you the main function in here this is here the second one is recovery only recovery it will only recover the gas can you take the photo Amma? okay can you can you take the video okay because i want to be free to explain this so this is only recovery manually it will recover all the gas okay and the oil from the machine here it will do the vacuum means you know your pressure will go down of um minus 30 minus 30 uh, you know again to the again to the drawing with the drawing you know if from the high pressure if you withdraw from the high pressure, okay, it will go up to minus 30 or from the low pressure and it will absorb all the humidity, all the bubbles, all the dust, everything from the loop. That is very important because, you know, this is the normal machine, which is, you know, a small compressor with small setup. It, will, it won't help you to do all of this and uh, immediately close the loop without getting something inside or without releasing something outside. Let me show you here the fill in new oil. Here, manually, you can fill in new oil. Here, you can recharge the system. But, you know, if you if you say, I want to recharge the system, okay, it will ask you how much how much gas you want to put inside the car, or it will give the database, which I am going to show you. Here is the auto mode. It will do all of these steps all together as an automatic, as an automatic mode, okay? Let me show you here. This is the database. This is what I'm talking about. Here, all of the cars. If you got, for example, a BMW car, maybe series uh, F20, let, let's say from 2011 to 2019, this is the refrigerant type, 134A. The recharge amount is 550 gram. The old type is BAG. So you have to use only, you have to fill 550 gram only. Don't fill it more. Some of the mechanics say, oh, let me put more gas. It is not like this. Not at all, because you know this gas quantity is designed for this cycle. If you overfill it, it will not cool. Let me go to another car. For example, here is the Captivia. Captivia is passenger car, bigger one. So the quantity of the gas is more. Please always, you have to check your right gas for the car 134A. If it is different, then that is different equation. You cannot, you cannot fill it. This is okay for this. Yeah, this is very okay for this. And you have to check the oil type, sometimes BAG, sometimes RL89. If you use the right oil and the right gas and the right amount, you will get the most efficiency uh, cooling, uh, uh, sorry, cooling efficiency. Let me go back into here. You don't have Honda HRV on this? Yeah, we have, you will have. But you know, I will tell you something, come here. This is a very good question. If I, do, if I am searching for something inside the database, I do not find this one. You always find it here. Your car is little, really old. <laughs> some other car, yeah. Some, yeah, you will find it here, maybe. Some other car, you will find it here. You see here, this air conditioner, yes. Yeah, 134A, you see here. I cannot see, can you take it a little bit? Wait. So 134A and uh, uh, 0.7 kilogram you have to fill. Sometime you find the sticker in here, sometime in here and sometime in the repair manual attached to the car maybe you can search in google but most of the cars are inside inside the uh, system here if you see here he's searching about honda what hrv hrv honda hrv he's, he's searching maybe you find it maybe you yeah. do not find it okay but you know if you do not find it please uh, search it from the internet let me go back in here and show you the other function here is the maintenance you go here in the maintenance exchange a dry filter there is a procedure for exchanging the dry filter of the machine One so month. if you want to change the dry filter please follow the steps here self cleaning pipe that means this one i will tell you after you finish the car working with the car yeah you have to close this pipes and then take it out don't please take it out without cleaning. some gas will release 
Some people they put you know the screw and check if there is a gas inside the loop here. That is all manual uh, workout. This step, you know, self cleaning the pipe. You know, if you put enter in here, connect the HP and the LB with the pipeline. Can you please connect it here? Give me this one. You know, that means you have to connect this pipe in here, and you will connect the this one in here, and you will do the cleaning. I will do the cleaning now. Okay, just to show you. The refrigerant in the flushing tank is not enough. Please supply. See, there, there is no enough gas in the why? Because he is pushing the gas from the cylinder to the to the to the pipes and filling it with the new fresh gas. Okay, not air. So you must have an air inside. But this is a very good procedure and a very good option in this very nice machine. That in the machine, the machine, yeah, because why it is giving you an alarm that there is no enough refrigerant gas inside the uh, tank. If there is an enough refrigerant gas, okay, it will push the gas from the recovery and put it in, in inside the loop of this and clean the machine. Uh, let me go. We have the gas here. Yeah, we will put the gas now. We will show you how to put the gas. Here, uh, self-cleaning, and here is the calibration if you want to calibrate the scaling machine or whatever, okay? Let me show you here this release air option you know remove air from main tank to release if the main tank has got some air this is will release the air pressurized inside the tank here this is, is the system for one month every one month yeah he mr abu yaman telling you that this procedure you have to do it every month to release all the air from your tank and from your uh, system here is the system function Language change, you have, you can change your language in here. I don't think Arabic language is there. Simply wise Chinese, it's simple machine by the way. Parameter setting, some people like to measure in uh, BSI, maybe, you know, units of measurement, kilogram um, in USA, they measure in LBS. So we are here used to kilogram. Uh, here, supply flushing tank. This is what I want to go to show, show to you now. Here, supply flushing tank. You know, we want to supply this flushing tank. Now, it is 0.15 kilogram, zero. There is no enough gas inside this, this, this tank. So, if I say I want to fill it with four kilogram, here, this, this, this bottle is uh, around 13.6 kilograms. So, I, want, I am going to take uh, four kilograms from this. So, 13.6 minus four, you are talking about 9.6 kilogram will remain in this bottle. You can use it later on. Okay, let me show you, or I can take more or less, let me show you. So you have to uh, to fill your uh, tank inside the machine from this tank. Either you supply flushing tank from here, you fill the machine, we have connected the low pressure line, we are following the color code, okay, and connect it to the machine, uh, sorry, to the bottle here, open the valve, can you make sure the valve is open? Yeah, he is opening the valve now, so the gas will release all the way from here. This is zero now. And it is zero now. Let me do empty the used oil, yes. And then, so now, you know, the recovery amount is going up 0 0.05, 0 0.09. Here, the weight of the gas inside the cylinder is also increasing because we have before 15 plus 10. So 28 now, you know, this will increase. This, the deviation between this and this will be 10. And if you see in here, this is measuring the pressure inside the filling tank, that, this, this tank. This tank, you see this tank inside the machine? So now we are filling, we are exactly filling this tank now with a new uh, gas. So the gas is, is passing all the way from in here, coming all the way up to here, okay? So we are filling now the tank. If you see here, recovery amount is increasing 0 0.37, 0 0.52. So there is two ways to fill the gas. Either you select the option from the system to withdraw. Either you make recovery from the HB or from LB line. Here we have done it through LB line. So now we are filling this machine. We will fill it with 4K kilogram, okay. Just to guarantee that when we do the car, we have the enough gas. And in here, we see that the oil is passing 
it's clean there is nothing inside no dust nothing because it's a fresh a fresh uh, bottle so to to make it to make it more fast he's going to flip it okay because so it is connected to the low pressure it's connected to the low pressure so yeah see here the gas is passing through very fast okay and here you can see that the ki kilo almost one kilogram we have filled he is putting up down okay and it will go very very fast if you see here the gas is passing through okay yeah so we have flip it up down just to make sure that more gases is passing through okay and in here you can find it is increasing so now it's filling and we can see now it's increasing and here the pressure of the tank is also increasing the tank pressure which is the machine tank if the scale is not working that means you forget to remove the screw from the device and forget to remove the filling from here okay